Hello, Ponton. Tell me more about Inspector Clouseau. He's a brilliant man, an orthodox, oblique, but I can tell you with absolute confidence, he's the man who will solve this case. Pontosa, you are crazy. <laughs> if Clouseau solves this case, I'm perfectly willing to run around like a bare-bummed idiot wearing nothing but a tutu. <laughs> well, let's talk about Avianeda. What are his proclivities? He's an art connoisseur. But because of his questionable dealings, he was thrown out of Spain and must live here. Ah, you see? He has squandered his reputation and he is forced to live in the woods like an animal. With the shame of being a criminal. If there is one absolute truth in this world, it is that crime does not pay. You say the bullet hole is behind his right shoulder? Yes. Well, all we have to do is figure out a way to get him to remove his shirt. I was half expecting you. Are you the so-called dream team? And who is it who is inquiring of us who we are? I'm Alonso Avenida. Is this more of that tornado nonsense? We shall see who is the one who will be saying nonsensical things that are something of nonsense. Well, I suppose I must bow to the inevitable. Please, come inside. I will join you in a moment. Good. Where the dream team plays its little games, I am going to snoop around. Who cares? So, gentlemen and ladies, please make yourselves at home. Now, how can I help you? Senor Bayaneda, where were you last Friday evening? Dining with my daughter and my ex-wife. <laughs> Don't believe me, call them. Why call them? They already lied for you on the stand ten years ago. I am not the tornado. Do you mind if I examine your computer system? Be my guest. I have nothing to hide. Sometimes things hide in plain sight. It's my security system. Signore, attenzione, signore. I answer this question. In the past, you admitted to dealings with Il Tornado. Yes, but that was ten years ago. Besides, I never saw his face. How did you conduct these transactions if you never saw his face? He was in disguise. He always wore a mask. Did you call him Zorro? Or the Power Ranger? Oh, come, come, Senor Vianeda. You expect us to believe that two grown men do millions of dollars of business with each other and you never saw his face? Perhaps I saw him once. Did he look something like this or this? How about this? No, I've told you I am not the tornado. How did you pay him? With deposits into Swiss bank accounts. Numbered. Untraceable. I understand. Look, I know my answers are less than satisfactory. I realize that. Does this mean I must spend the rest of my life living under a cloud of suspicion? Forgive my intrusion. Oh, yes. There is one way to prove your innocence. Back in 1996, while perpetrating a crime... Yes, yes, yes. He received a bullet wound in the shoulder. Is this what it's come to? that I must strip down and remove my clothes in the sanctity of my own home before a group of people I've only just met just to prove my innocence? They wouldn't hurt. Fine. Let's get it over with, then. I believe it was the right shoulder. Hmm. 
so. I hope this proves beyond doubt that I am not the tornado. We will have to leave you in peace. his shoulders there is no wound he did hmm. the man is guilty there's no physical evidence Clouseau. he removed the hair twice and there was no bullet hole haven't you ever heard of cosmetic surgery oh yes of course you have Inspector. I even checked all the house's computers. None of them I use hack into the museum. Still. Oh. Cluzo, can't you see what's plain in front of you? Your unrelenting stubbornness is maddening. And I'm telling you, I sense the presence of the tornado in that house. They don't know anything. That blasted bullet wound, it's my mark. One day they'll find me. You're in no danger, Lawrence. This is all very strange. I even know one of them. You do? Which one? You know me. Isn't it obvious? Inspector, excuse me. Are you familiar with the Spanish restaurant here in Roma called La Plata de Nada? Know it. I destroyed it. I found this in a charmed paper shredder. Eight o'clock tonight. It's a grand reopening of La Plata de Nada. And I thought, why would Avellaneda shred a simple reminder of a dinner appointment? Good work, Ponton. <laughs> so what should we do? Our job's Ponton. We investigate. See who he's eating with. Perhaps a tornado. You go on ahead. Ponto and I will uh, get a taxi and do a little sightseeing. <laughs> 